In 1993, I had an MBA student who had taken my operations class. So I was teaching all that stuff I just talked about, inventory management and quality management and all that. <clears throat> she came to me. She was a fashion designer in New York um, before she came back to business school. And she came to me at the end of the operations class and she said, shouldn't design be a part of the MBA curriculum? And so I said, yeah, why not? And uh, so I said, why don't you start a course on design? So we started a course called Design as a Strategic Business Issue. Um, and we had all these really big name designers, Jerry Hirschberg, who ran Nissan Design International, uh, Sarah Little Turnbull, who's um, very well known in the, the design world, uh, Bill Mogridge, who co-founded IDEO, um, a, a whole bunch of, of really, Phil Condit, who became CEO of Boeing. Mm -hmm. And they all came in and spoke in this mm -hmm. class. They brought their 35 millimeter slide trays and showed you know, visuals of design um, that they had done in their practices. And so that's how we got, mm -hmm. as a business school, we've been doing design stuff here for a couple of decades, actually, well before the whole current fad around design thinking, we've been deeply immersed in how do you manage new product development processes, what role does design have to play in that, how do you do customer-focused design, um, et cetera. So that's kind of the evolution to how we ended up where we are today.